And in that verse 3, that's what I said, I want us to emphasize us. He said, when the foundations have been destroyed, the Bible said, what can the righteous do? That means that when the foundations are faulty, what can you and I do? The answer to that, my sister, is we can pray. The answer to that is that we can call upon the Lord to help us and erect a new foundation. Yes, there has been so many faulty foundations. It could be through our own errors. It could be through our omissions. It could be through our sins. It could be the true through the sins of our parents. It could be through the sins of our grandparents. It could be an evil pattern in our lineage. But because of one fact, and that fact is that if any man be in Christ, is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So because you and I are in Christ, all things have become new. There's a new foundation for us. So we can stand upon the efficacy of the word of God. We can stand upon the rights that you and I have given our lives to Jesus. So there's a new foundation for us and our family members and our generations yet unborn to stand on. And so today, as a woman in this Zoom room, you are going to stand on behalf of yourself, your children, and even on your unborn generations. And we're going to make some declarations. I was watching a program and I saw something that was very, very, very profound. And I want us to learn from that. In a particular lineage, they had accepted the fact that they were cursed. They had accepted the fact that they were cursed because of something that happened. But there was a particular girl in that lineage that did, that did not want to accept that wrong foundation. That girl stood her ground. And because they have accepted they were caused, there were so many things that were, they were restricted to do. Number one, they were, host, they were not supposed to wear any other clothes apart from black clothes. They were not supposed to come out of their rooms and mingle with the people that they call freeborn. They were the cursed ones. They can't go to the market when they want to go there. They must only go at a specific time of the month. They cannot mingle with the freeborn because they were they they, they have ostracized them in, in another community because they believe that they were cursed. And why did they believe they were cursed? They said there was a particular time, there was a plague, there was a pandemic in that area. And some certain people caught that plague. And so any generations born to them, they were cursed. But there was a particular girl. And this thing has been going on for years. And these people have accepted their faith that they, have, they were cursed. And they were living their life with that mentality, bringing children to the world and passing that same evil tradition even to those children. That is what we call evil foundation. But there was a particular girl that stood her ground and said, no, my life cannot be like this. And they said, if you come out, because the rule is that if they come out, when they are not supposed to come out, they will die. But this girl was ready to die. She was ready to do whatever it takes to break this course. And lo and behold, her boldness brought freedom to her people. Because at the end of the day, when she came out, they now found out that she had a gift that was needed all over, all over that community. She had a gift and that was a gift that was used. When they realized that she had that gift, there was now, I'm explaining this story because I want us to use it to pray. When they realized that she had that gift, a pandemic now happened and the king of the country was sick and was about to die and this girl had a gift to make the king become well so when they called her and they called her you know imagine this is at the cost people they don't want them around them she now placed her card on the table she said king i can make you well but it's on a ground and on which ground that you free my people we are not cursed the same pandemic, the same plague that happened that you people made you made you people call us cause is the same thing that has happened to you, King. Can we also say you are cursed? Do you know that that brought freedom to our people? The king accepted the negotiation and said, okay, make me well. I don't want to die. Your people are free. That brought freedom to our people. And even eventually at the end of the day, she married the child of the king and became a queen. That means she now became the queen of the land. That is from being a cursed person who decided to stand her ground. Now we are believers. We don't care whatever the evil pattern may have been from our family members. And so we have accepted some faith. He said, when the foundation is destroy what can the righteous do the righteous can stand upon the word of god that says if any man being christ is a new creature because i'm a new creature i'm standing in god for myself and my family and even my own unborn generations and i'm saying that whatever may be the evil pattern i'm already praying begin to pray whatever
whatever may be the evil pattern in my family, it cannot stand. I break it in the name of Jesus. If any man being Christ is a new creature, all things have passed away. The Bible said, behold, all things have become new. I declare and I decree my family that all things have become new. Even the lives of my children, all things have become new. In the life of my unborn generations, all things have become new. I don't care whatever the mistakes my parents have made, my grandparents have made, that has, you know, it reduced us one way or the other, that has put us into one captivity or the other. I break free by the power in the blood of Jesus. You know, the Bible makes you and I know that the blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Abel. So begin to apply that blood to break any wrong foundation, to break any evil trend, to break any evil pattern. Stand upon the right in the name of Jesus that you are a new creature. And so you and your children cannot live in the life of the cost. We, 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 we are different through, through, through the blood of Jesus, meaning that no man can cheat us upon any right that God has given to us. We are not disadvantaged in any way. Nothing disadvantaged my children. No, we are not. We, we 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 are not disabled in any way. We are not disadvantaged in any way. Begin to decree what the Lord has said concerning you and your family that you are the head and not the tail. Begin to instill that confidence. I'm even challenging us to make sure that we continue to instill that confidence in the lives of the, our children. They they are, they are a new creature. All things are passed away, and so they can be anything God has called them to be. Begin to speak and decree over your family that we are free. The Bible says that the son of God set free is free indeed and so we decree that we are free in the name of Jesus because the Bible says for dear for there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus we are in Christ Jesus so we cannot be condemned to the sins of our parents we cannot be condemned to the mistakes of our forefathers it will decree that everything that the Lord has said concerning you and your family shall be you shall be who God has called you to be there's no restriction there's no limitation Malima Rodo and so everything the Lord is said he said is as we receive begin to claim all the blessings and the promises of God for you and your family that it shall come to pass no restriction no limitation in the name of Jesus we are free and we are free indeed we are free and we are free indeed we are the children of God we shall stand our right begin to declare that I and my children we are a peculiar generation we are a royal priesthood. We are a holy nation. We have been called forth to show forth the praises of God. And so our life shall show forth the praises of God. In the name of Jesus, we will not live a life of a second class. Not at all, not at all, not at all. We shall be all that God has called us to be. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. The spirit of God in us bears witness that we are children of God and so we cannot be silenced we cannot be in that in the name of Jesus we on top and never be below we receive that grace and we move in that grace and we move in that confidence in Jesus name we pray